Listen up, everyone, because we are at the tail end of Heart Health Month, but we can always use more ideas on how to create healthy habits in regards to our body's most important muscle. And of course, we all know that one key way of doing that is with our diet. Well, joining us now with creative ways to build nutrition into our meal prep so that those healthy meals last the entire week is registered dietitian and nutrition expert Mia Sin coming at us from her kitchen nonetheless. So first of all, how do we get started with healthy meal prep and planning? Because planning is important. Absolutely. So there was a recent survey conducted by one poll that found that nearly 50% of people are hoping to diversify the types of cuisine they cook, but don't know where to start. So in honor of Heart Health Month, they have three meal planning recipes that are easy to make and heart friendly. So we'll start with breakfast, which is my favorite meal of the day. Um, these are egg muffins, super easy to make and they're customizable. Uh, you're going to whisk together your eggs with almond milk and cheese. Then you're going to cook your veggies in Mazzola corn oil. Add that to your batter and bake in the oven for about 18 minutes at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Super easy breakfast option. Yeah, packed with protein. You just made my, my mouth water. Sounds like such a decadent breakfast. But you did mention corn oil is the specific oil that we would like to use. Why is that the best option? Yes, yeah, so corn oil has a neutral taste and it also contains plant sterols, which clinical studies have shown can help lower cholesterol levels by blocking bad cholesterol from being absorbed. And plant sterols are found naturally in a handful mm. of foods like fresh produce, grains, legumes, nuts and seeds. Wow, so what other dishes can you share with us? Because again, you're in your kitchen for a reason. So what can you share? Yes, so for lunch, I have a chicken burrito bowl. I make this at least once a week. Super easy, you're going to saute your chicken and bell peppers in corn oil with seasonings and lime juice, and then serve that with brown rice, guacamole, and salsa. Mm, guacamole, another superfood. I really like the way you're packing the power into the meal without adding more calories and more you know, saturated fats and whatnot, actually getting rid of a lot of it. So what is the importance of smoke point when considering the right type of oil? First of all, what is smoke point? Yeah, so many home cooks may not realize that all cooking oils have a smoke point that once exceeded can negatively affect the food's flavor. And the great thing about corn oil is that it has a high smoke point of 450 degrees Fahrenheit. So it performs well in a variety of cooking applications from sauteing and stir frying to grilling and baking. Gotcha, gotcha. So that means when I put the oil, whatever it is that I'm using in my pan and immediately it starts to steam up, that is the smoke point for whatever that particular oil is. Okay, so the more we know. Where can we go for more information, Mia? So for more information, you can visit Mazzola.com and all these recipes are on my website, nutritionbymia.com. Well, thank you so very much. Nutritionbymia.com. We will definitely be hitting that up and putting that link on firstcoastliving.net. But thanks again to uh, registered dietitian and nutrition expert Mia Sen for letting us know how throughout the rest of the year we can take care of our body's most important muscle, our heart. Thanks again, Mia.